Hello, welcome to Parapod. Um, this is a another session. Uh, I'd like to show quickly, um, quickly how uh, uh, I do the uh, layout um, and also the uh, retaining wall. Okay, uh, this shows the um, the Parapod for uh, Granite Seventeen. Uh, uh shows that the I bury this whole thing uh, underneath by one and a half uh, feet um, yeah and uh, so yeah we do this so that uh, you know because there's a height restriction by the city uh, and also uh, we like to bury the whole thing. Uh, so this way we don't need to anchor uh, anything. We simply, you know, uh, prepare the 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 ground, the 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 yeah greenhouse inside ground, and with uh, drainage rocks, right, like this, and then make it flat, and then just put the structure simply on it, and then uh, we build the retaining wall using. Uh, concrete blocks um, and Tim today tell me that uh, there's a, a, a Allen blocks uh, that uh, you don't need concrete uh, they, 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 yeah those blocks they lock it to each other so uh, you don't need a concrete to be, to you know uh, yeah to secure it so anyway so that's uh, I plan to do um, and and um, and here also, as uh, the uh, young made this uh, uh, file, uh, this is like actually a cutout, you know, cut in uh, somewhere in the one third of the, yeah, to toward the this section. Um, uh, show that also the main barrel cut in half by the, uh, um, you know, in the middle. Uh, but uh, I'm going to um, use um, a rubber toe to simply, you know, place at the corner, uh, you know, huh. and uh, and then, uh, yeah, the drill holes. Uh, the bottom, uh, of the, the bottom is the uh, it's the board plus the insulation foam. Okay, we, we ex yeah expand it. See, this is. A plywood and then on top of the plywood that's the uh, purple uh, foam um, so this way uh, the um, the bag uh, the double layer you know um, bag uh, uh, where they you know we fill with uh, soap bubbles uh, they simply sit on the on, on this uh, purple uh, yeah uh, foam board okay um, yeah, and the concrete blocks support the bottom. But the thing is, uh, I, I'm gonna put the put the square uh, uh, rubber tote uh, at the corner. So I order I ordered four. Uh, supposed to be de delivered uh, tomorrow. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's something uh, I like to show. Um, yeah, uh, you use uh, the concrete blocks uh, to as the retaining wall, and then we simply fill. See, you see this gap. Um, we simply fill the rest, you know, with uh, drainage rocks, a you know, one inch uh, drainage rock, and then, then, then this way we bury the whole structure, you know, in the rocks, you know, so it's make it stable. No need for anchor. Uh, yeah, that's uh, what it is. Um, yeah, just uh, show that, and now I like to switch to uh, ground layout. Um, uh, as you can see, uh, the yellow represent four-inch uh, uh, drainage pipe um, with uh, perforated uh, holes. Okay, uh, so that the you know the the water can you know come in. We have this uh, wet. We call it wet sump. Uh, basically, the the four inch pipe connect to this, uh, so that the you know the water level in 
in the pit right in the square uh, square uh, well we can call it pond the, because the pond but the pond is filled with uh, drainage rocks and water okay so we need to have a way to know how much you know what is the water level right um, because uh, then uh, then we can control the water level so this is a white sump uh, simply I drill uh, half inch holes at the bottom so the rock won't come in and some holes on the side and also we have the uh, four inch pipe you know uh, full of holes right uh, so that uh, the water can uh, you know come in uh, into the pipe and and uh, and the, and then the water the wet some you know uh, uh, can reflect you know the water level okay uh, and this is not connect to anything simply connect to the yeah to the to the yeah uh, we call it uh, geothermal right geothermal uh, uh, space okay um, then we have a dry sum uh, dry sum simply means uh, it stay dry um, we we i made um you know um uh, uh i use a pipe uh that's um, um yeah uh, and then and then um yeah just in the future it, it, you know if we need uh if we need to right to um to connect you know have other way instead of uh you know connect to the 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 geothermal you know water in the pit uh you know in in another way then we can oh, use this so um, yeah here I have uh, something you know sticking out but the got the protect protection uh, shell and uh, so yeah and then the I I I put this uh, at a relative uh, higher point in somewhere in the middle. So that you know, when the water level increase to a certain you know to a certain uh, yeah height, then uh, you know exceeds ex yeah exceeding this height, then the water will come in right, and that way we we know uh, you know uh, we can have a sub pump here kick in you know, but anyway, it's just uh, options right, a lot of options you know we have. have I I I I have uh, have installed a shuttle valve here, so we can close it. Then nothing come in, right? Then everything stay dry. And this also, there's a connection between the two tanks. This is soap reservoir. This is the central soap uh, reservoir, and uh, there's a, a connection here. But there's a shuttle valve here, so that you know we can you know. Uh, use this or can uh, if we need more space we can sh close this shut off right and then open this so that we have two central uh, soap reservoir okay yeah just um, you know just uh, for um, yeah in case something wrong with this right then or we need more space right for soap oh liquid gosh, then we we have it right so it's kind of a standby uh, tank here um, yeah and uh, the um, the the green uh, this is sort of uh, the green blue line shows the two inch uh, no one and uh, one and a quarter inch uh, uh, pipe you know uh, yeah yeah to the soap tank okay so we have um, you know as I ex explained I'm gonna put the rectangular um, uh, rubber tote uh, at the bottom right at a, you know uh, below the uh, the um, the uh, below the, uh, the the quad panel uh, bottom right and so then then drill holes right and so the the, the liquid collect the liquid will, will quickly fall into this uh, tote and uh, got uh, settled down you know the yeah, the soap uh, the foam and liquid separated 
and then and that and then when we have four lines you know four one and a uh, quarter inch uh, yeah uh, tubes you know connect to the bottom of the soap reservoir the reason f for that is uh, we don't want the foam to flow back right we want the liquid so uh, yeah because the foam is lighter so it always stay at the top so then the liquid you know so basically when um once uh the um, we fill the soap reservoir with uh with water then uh the, the then water will flood everywhere okay uh because this rise to the top you know and so the water will flood you know everywhere here so yeah and then uh once the relative hot uh foam uh liquid uh flow back to because the you know the pump the pumping will, will will take place here right we'll draw uh, uh, soap liquid from here and pump to the top and then they create the either create the foam and all create the the thin film right and everything start to flow right uh, so the yeah recycled uh, uh, foam will, will flow back but while they flow back you know the liquid flow back a, a, a you know it goes through this line and this line actually uh, I'm gonna uh, use a four inch uh, four inch perforated uh, uh, yeah pipe to uh, contain this so this pipe in pipe right and then uh, you know the so there's a natural uh, heat exchange between the the uh, the foam liquid right and and the water in the pump okay so this way uh, we have natural uh, heat exchange you know so whenever the liquid start to flow and then there's a you know exceed heat exchange right uh, so yeah that's uh, because uh, the retaining foam um, yeah, will be uh, warm what you know warmer right um, maybe I'm guessing maybe five degree difference you know uh, if not more uh, then the relative warm liquid flow uh, through this line you know it uh, you know that then there's a heat exchange you know so that uh, can pass you know can you know uh, transfer right the heat into the into the water uh, of, the, of the solar geo uh, space okay so um yeah so that the uh, soap main soap reservoir is stay uh, relatively cool okay and this also buried in ground okay so a shot of a video on site to show you know what i did uh, but uh, tomorrow i may uh, you know do uh, another one yeah you know, to show clearly what what, it, what I did okay uh, and also I have some pictures taken today uh, I'm gonna show you okay so that's uh, roughly that like that and um, you know here's the fish tank I, I plan to have two fish tank uh, made of uh, the uh, bathtub you know donated bathtub and then so on the second level i can i use the same thing to um to form the uh, four uh, sand bag okay this way we get the the double ratio you know right. so that's so the four sand ponics right for a uh, one volume of fish tank you know, i mean fish uh, water like you gotta have you know you, double you know the, the, the double uh, volume the of, of the sand uh, right. sand bag uh, so that so the, the right filtration now, you know is, uh, is sufficient to clear the water okay uh there's something else uh desk and chair you know and um yeah um and also here it shows the like, vent okay. this is a natural vent uh, system it's simply a yeah, four I inch pipe no, uh, really you know going, going uh, yeah uh, underground and then coming out you know vertically uh, and then there will be a sh you know a covering right on the top oh, so the wind water won't uh, come in 
but uh, anyway, so this is a uh, uh, this is a way to balance the the uh, air right uh, between the inner air and the outside air. So that's just for um, uh, some some natural uh, you know air uh, pressure balance. Okay, that's uh, that and um, yeah and then I will just uh, play the short video. Um, that I took uh, some pictures I took today and uh, yeah and hopefully it can help you understand what I did uh, so again uh, you don't have to do this you know uh, you, you don't I mean you don't have to dig deep like uh, what I did okay um, I mean I mean just quickly show you don't have to dig deep and create this uh, solar geo uh, I mean geothermal uh, pond right filled with uh, drainage rocks yeah but I do this uh, there's two reasons uh, one is the water table uh, I'm, I'm you know my site is sitting on the yeah air, used airport I mean the the, the, yeah, the, the former <laughs> airports are one way right the water is, the table is very very low you know probably 10 20 feet deep or even 30 feet deep so um, it's better to create an um, uh, underwater system you know like this and uh, using pond liner uh, the other thing I, I like to do this uh, just to practice you know to uh, because uh, I know uh, I'm doing this for uh, you know to for two extreme oh, conditions one is you know, for, for for those area that's very very hot, for example, Africa, right? What if it's very hot? You know, Maybe there's like you know winter. Hot. There's no winter, or you know the yeah. So so uh, you know the 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 then we need uh, something like this to cool, right? To cool the environment. You know, to create a cooled environment, right? Um, but there's also also the chance that uh, you know. If you, for example, I was born in uh, northeast of uh, China, uh, where uh, winter very cold, right? Minus uh, thirty-five, you know, sometimes minus forty, right? So, um, so I like to to learn, you know, for a situation like that, you know, very extremely uh, hot and extremely cold you know, environment, right? So. Um, yeah, for example, if, even Calgary, right, minus 35, uh, you know, according to Dong Jian Yi, you know, um, yeah, he shows that, as, uh, you, know, you know, at one time, uh, for a few days, uh, you know, minus 35, you know, in that case, his greenhouse is minus uh, 5, right, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's very dangerous, you know, things could, uh, you know, freeze, right. Um, so I like to um, to explore, you know, just because this is on my own uh, backyard, so I can, can have the control. So I like to uh, do this, uh, you know, take the actual effort and actual money, right, spend to uh, create, uh, to practice, you know, uh, this, uh, so that I can, uh, it will, if it works uh, here and, it, uh, and then, uh, it should work uh, in Calgary and also in my hometown, right? Okay. So when the temperature extremely cold, you need massive, you know, amount of uh, water to thermal mass, right, to contain the uh, more, uh, you know, uh, store to store more heat, right, more thermal energy. Yeah, that's the There's two idea. On here. There's two on yeah. Probably. And then you can accumulate this, you know, do you know, accumulate, uh, you know, okay. uh, thermal we can, we can storage uh, during the summertime okay. and to be used uh, you know, during for for the winter time, right? So uh, that's why, yeah, that's why I'm taking this uh, actual effort uh, doing this. Uh, yeah, I know it's uh, costly and uh, I know expensive, right? And also uh, a lot of a uh, lot of work actually. You know, uh, because I'm digging four, uh, four feet down, right? Uh, so and I need a lot of um, uh, uh, drainage rocks. You know, I calculated uh, probably I need at least thirty-two cubic yards. You know, uh, 
uh, of uh, drainage rocks. Uh, yeah, that's probably um, it means I probably have to pay about two thousand just for the rocks. You know. So anyway, um, but uh, it's worth the you know effort. You know because uh, once you build this, uh, it's permanent, right? Uh, I like to use it to, you know, to create the, the you know, good environment so that I can grow vegetable. I can do sand ponics. I'm going to do sand ponics, right? Uh, sand ponics uh, add uh, more uh, uh, thermal mass, right? Uh, the water, the sand, right? So uh, then the result will be better. To the... Uh, the wet, that one is called a uh, wet pump. Uh, I haven't found, uh, you know, that's the dry pump. But I wanted to test uh, whether the, it's watertight. And the the one got uh, four hoses, uh, you know, connect to the corners. Uh, that's the soap tank. You know. So I'm testing the water tightness. Uh, so hopefully it's okay. Otherwise, I have to use some silicone to seal the where it leaks. How uh, you could, uh, you know, cut, uh, uh, you know, cut part of it, you know, the top part, you know, cut it off uh, this strip, and then you uh, open the, open up the, you know, opening, right? Enlarge the opening because the, See, it's, if you look at it from the side, it's tapered to the top. So you cut this off, and then you put the cover in. It just fits perfectly. See the cover? It has tapered in that, that, like that, right? So when you cut cut off that strip, then you put it down. See here? See, it fit uh, inside. Yeah, it fit inside. See, perfectly, you know. So you got a, you know, cover that you can completely open, you know, it can completely open, right? Because I need to do this so that I can work inside when I do the, connect the plumbing, right? For this one, I got a one hole close to the bottom, yeah. So, yeah, just show you how this can be done. And very, very handy, 